Hello, 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 y'all, and welcome. We are in lesson eight, hem stitching. This is the Epically Creative Weaving course, module 3A. In this lesson, you're gonna learn how to begin your weaving with hem stitching, as well as how to end the weaving with hem stitching. What, what is hem stitching? Hem stitching is used at the beginning or the end of a piece to hold the weft in place. This is why you'd wanna do it. It's less bulky than tying knots and faster because you can do it while the cloth is on the loom and under tension. You can also use hem stitching as a creative element in the middle of your work as well. You can always do that. What you're gonna need is a blunt needle with an eye big enough for the yarn to pass through. Now I'm gonna start with the end. Haha, ha, begin with the end in mind. So I'm gonna start with the end and then we're gonna go to the beginning. So it's pretty much the same. Um, you're going to, when you've come to the end of your weaving, you're gonna make a tail that is about four times the width of the weaving. And then you're gonna start from, if you're a righty, from the upper right hand corner, you're gonna bring the needle down and diagonally to the left. Then you're gonna bring the, you're going to wrap around some warp threads, however you decide. We're gonna go in this a little bit more detail in a minute, so don't worry. And then you're gonna see a loop that kinda of looks like a backward capital letter D. Bring the needle up and through that loop. Gently pull to tighten it around the thread to have your little bundles. As you can see, I have bundles of various thicknesses. I just did that to give y'all permission to know you don't have to be perfect. But if you want to be perfect, feel free. But, you know, there is no perfection in this side of heaven. Repeat across. Now, I must preface all of what I've said and what I'm going to say forward that there are a lot of different ways to hem stitch. This is just one. Um, it works for me, it's worked for others, but there are other ways to do this. When you're finished, needle weave the yarn ends in to hide them. So after this video, you're gonna find a, another video that's labeled hem stitching, where I will be showing you what I'm doing and you can look over my shoulder. How to begin with hem stitching. So I had to actually <laughs> do this extra thing um, because you know I have a whole bunch of cloth on the warp and so I had to start again so I could show you how to begin. Anyway, you wanna start by spreading your warp using your preferred method, however you like to do that. If you know that you wanna begin your weaving with hem stitching, you need to leave a tail of about four widths of your warp on your right, if you're right-handed or left, if you're gonna be going left to right. You're gonna weave a few picks. You only really need about three. Um, an inch is more than enough. You're gonna lay that shuttle down and then you're gonna thread the tail into that blunt needle that you have. You wanna decide how many warp ends you want in each of your bundles, or you can just play it like ear, like play it by ear like I like to do. Then you're gonna start from your lower right, um, and you're gonna come under the cloth and bring the needle diagonally up and to the left. You're going to bring the needle down and around the warp ends. You're gonna see a loop that looks like a capital B D. I'm sorry, I didn't get the picture of it. And you're going to go through that loop. I show you this in the video, no worries. You're gonna gently pull and tighten the thread and you're gonna repeat across. When you finish, you're going to needle weave the yarn in to hide the ends. And you will see me actually doing this in real time in the video that's called hem stitching. All right, so I've told you about how to weave hem stitching in the beginning, how to do it in the end and why you might wanna do that. I want you to take action now to weave along with me or after the video as I demonstrate how to do hem stitching at the beginning and ending of a piece. Go ahead and print out this handout if you haven't already so you can tick all that you've already learned off or you can tick this off and then start back at the beginning ticking off all the cool things that you're learning along the way. And again, there's that invite to join my weaving community. If it's not open right now, it will be opening up soon. Um, and we'd love to have you as a member and interacting and sharing with us your progress so we can cheer you on and encourage you along this path. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave me a comment, subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell, and share this video. Oops. In the next lesson, you'll learn where to find further information in popular weaving books and what's coming up in the next module. I'll see you in that next.